Hello everyone, this is Daniel with ManyBidets.com. Uh, today I'm going to be talking about installing the Toto NeoRest 700H. So one of the most common questions we get when it comes to the 700H is how easy is it to install. A little bit more tricky than a standard toilet, so really we recommend hiring a plumber. But kind of wanted to walk you through some of the basics so that you have an idea what that plumber will be getting into. Um, and you know, if you feel comfortable with it, yeah, you could always take a crack at it as well. So let's go ahead and talk a little bit about the specifications of installing this unit. First of all, you need to make sure that you have a 12 inch rough in. So that's the distance from the center of the flange or the drain hole to the back wall uh, without the molding taken into account. So from the center of the drain hole or the flange to the drywall in the back is that 12 inches or more. Now what you can see in this video is the mounting template and that's basically a piece of paper that you lay over the installation space to help you map out where the mounting brackets go. So because this particular unit is a skirted toilet, uh, does not connect to the flange the same way a standard toilet would, so you lay this template down and from laying the template down you can see where the two mounting brackets need to be installed. Here in this next shot we can see the mounting brackets installed and uh, they're just little mount plastic mounting brackets that the toilet is going to be screwed into which we'll look at a little bit later. We can also see that the wax ring has been installed on top of the the current flange now the NeoRest 700H is a bit different than a standard toilet in the respect that the uh, the porcelain does not come all the way down to the flange we actually installed this plastic uh, this plastic piece over the flange and the wax ring and that plastic piece connects to the toilet uh, so we'll we'll uh, see that here in a moment as well. Now after that plastic piece is installed you can see that there's a little pull cord connected to that. That's going to route through a groove in the back of the toilet and is going to be routed up to a little access panel in the back of the toilet seat which provides the opportunity for a manual flush if there's no power. Uh, because this toilet does have a pump assisted flush the manual flush without power is very weak, but it's better than nothing. So that's what that little pull string is for. All right, so now that we've got that plastic piece on, we can see that the toilet itself is going to go on over all of this. So if it's not properly lined up, you're going to know because it's not going to sit flush or level at all. So you're just going to wiggle it around a little bit until you get it into place. It's going to kind of almost snap into place and then what you need to do is you need to um, go in the back and where the little the two little screw holes are on the unit uh, you're gonna screw into the mounting plate there to attach that toilet to um, to the floor uh, so that's done shouldn't have any wiggle at this point should be nice and tight of course you can caulk around the base of the toilet if you want uh, with like a clear caulk that's that's totally doable if, if you so desire and then of course we're going to set the seat on top of the toilet and there's two screws that we put in uh, in the back in the back access panel area that um, that keep that seat in place uh, after we do this, we have a little battery, a little battery um, compartment that's stored back there under that access panel as well, as well, that connects to the manual flush option to give it a little bit of power, but again, very weak in comparison to the standard flush that's that's used when you have full power. Well, hopefully, you found today's video helpful. Uh, if you have any questions or concerns, of course, feel free to either comment on this video, email, or call us. Uh, both phone number and email are in the description. 
Don't forget to visit our website uh, if you uh, want to learn more about uh, contractor deals or trade discounts. Feel free to reach out again, uh, email or call us. You can also text us at the number in the video description. Uh, and uh, we'd be happy to talk with you about any of the, uh, the trade discounts that we're able to offer. Um, so yeah, ask for a discount. Uh, if you want to see comparisons between this Neo Rest and other Neo Rest, or for that matter, any of the other integrated units on the market, feel free to visit our integrated comparison uh, tables. We have tons of great content out there. And of course, don't forget to subscribe and like this video if you found it helpful. Uh, we will be doing a full review of the Total Neo Rest 700H, but if you're not subscribed, you won't see when that video comes out. So make sure that you subscribe to the YouTube channel and uh, we'll see you on the next video.